The author is Marcelo Hilario Del Pilar E. Batmaitan. Batmatan? Batmaitan. Batmaitan? <laughs> Zap, may nabuhu peeps. It's your dazzling girl again, B.S. B.S. So for today's vlog content, we're gonna talk all about the external and internal criticisms of the Salan and Toksuhan by Marcelo Del Pilar. So let's go on to the criticisms. Let's now begin in tackling the external criticism of the Salan and Toksuhan by Marcelo Del Pilar. The first question is, who was the author? The author is Marcelo Hilario Del Pilar y Baitan, commonly known as Marcelo H. Del Pilar. According to Ferdinand Blumentritt, Marcelo Del Pilar has a warlike character, is foxy, has much energy, and a great talent for sedative. Kindness, interpret, ambitious, and had no consideration when anything serious is to be done. Second question, what were his qualifications as a reporter? Mr. Del Pilar initially studied at Coleo de San Jose, a college owned by Mrs. Hermine Gilda Flores. Then later transferred to the University of Santo Tomas where he finished his course law in 1880. After graduating, he worked for the Real Audencia de Manila. The third question is what were his special qualifications and disqualification as a reporter of the matters were treated. But since Mr. Anthony or Sir Anthony said that this was not supposed to be answered, then let's go on to its letter A. The question 3.A is how was he interested in the event related? Marcelo del Pilar became interested in the event because he witnessed and experienced how Spaniards ran the government and treated the people. Now, the 3.B. How was he situated for the observation of the facts? When he was young, Marcelo del Pilar is an observant by nature kind of boy. At the point that he even found out early that the people of his country were not being treated well by the farrier and the authorities. After he became a lawyer, he never let an opportunity pass without defending weak either in the court or in press. Now let's go to the last question of number 3, which is 3.C. Had he the necessary general and technical knowledge for learning and reporting the events? <clears throat> and my answer is yes. Mr. Del Pilar have a general and technical knowledge for learning and writing. He graduated college with a course of law. This means that he can write and read. And this is the sum of skills of the technical writer. He is also a writer and a journalist that gave him many knowledge in writing and reading. Marcelo Del Pilar is a known writer for his many essays and editorials. And he even witnessed the happenings that made him write the Salan and Toksuhan. This means that Mr. Del Pilar's work is a primary source that I learned from Mr. Anthony. Diba sir? <laughs> now we're here to the fourth question of external criticism, which is how soon after the event was the document is written? Spanish colonial period began within 1565 to 1898, where the colonization lasts for 333 years. And the Desalen and Toksuhan of Marcelo H. Del Pilar was written in 1888. And the fifth question is how was the document written? In writing the Desalen and Toksuhan, Mr. Del Pilar used to decide the name Dolores Manaksak in the language Tagalog. He made it as a parody of prayers and catechisms taught by Spanish priests. And the last question of the external criticism is the number six is how is the document relator the other documents but this is not supposed to be answered so let's go on to this letter a which is 6.a question in the 6.a is is it original source wholly or in parts the document the salan at Toksuhan is not a whole original or made by mr del pilar this document is a parody means it's in part so that's it that is the last questions for the external criticisms. Now, what's next? Yes, you're right. The next is the 
The internal criticisms of the Desalan and Toksuhan. The first questions of the internal criticism is, who was the author? As I tackled earlier, the author is Mr. Marcelo del Pilar, which is known by his pen name, Plaridel. Or Plaridel. Yes. Let's go on to the next question. The question number two, is there a connection between him and the document? My answer is yes. Yes, you're right. There is a connection between them because the relation between them is like a father and son where Mr. Del Pilar is the father and his work, the Desalan and Toksuhan, is his son. The third question in the internal criticism is, is the subject one with which he would be expect to have some degree of familiarity? <laughs> yeah. And my answer is, yes again! Mr. Marcelo Del Pilar is a journalist and a Filipino writer, which can make him familiar about the subject. He is also part of the Kilosang Propaganda, an English reform movement that can be evidence for his familiarity because he should know things about it. Then the fourth internal question is, could he have been the place indicated at the time indicated? Hmm... And my answer is, yes. My answer is also yes because Marcelo del Pilar is in the place where it happens and he got to know the catechisms that is being taught by the Spanish priest that made him be creative and repeal the disciples of the church. And on to the next question, the question number five. Has the information given in the document original with him or did he copy it from someone else? And my answer is no. Yes, no. The information about the document is not original because it's just a parody means he used something original and changed the words in it. And here, the last question, the sixth question of internal criticism is, are the statement made in the document consistent? And my answer is, <laughs> yes. Not only Marcelo del Pilar, but also other people notice that the leading of Spaniards that can be seen to the document is true. On the internet, we can see that the Philippines is not the only country that the former Spanish colonized. They also colonized the Mexico, California, and also most of Americas and parts of the Africa and Europe. So that's it guys. That is the external and internal criticisms questions about the Desalan and Toksuhan. And before I forgot, here are the links where I get the information about the Desalan and Toksuhan. So that is guys. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye! Hit like and share. Subscribe to my channel. Nabable. Yeah. Bye-bye!